Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Continuing to take a look at some of these top games in the Week 3 slate. And we got a very interesting SEC matchup as the LSU Tigers head on the road and play the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And I'll say this, like this LSU team, yeah, I know they lost to Florida State, dropped outside the top 10 in the rankings. This is still a top 10 team in the country. You take a look at this team and who the star talent they have, the depth they have on both sides of the football. It is one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, are there things that LSU needs to iron out as they get into SEC play? Yeah, sure there is, right? That secondary, we're still trying to figure it out. I think that we talked about, yeah, there, there's going to be some growing pains and some shuffling in the back end. But at the end of the day, they got a lot of talent in that back room. I have a lot of confidence that they'll figure it out. And this game is still going to be a very interesting game. Excited to get into some of the key matchups that we'll be seeing. Now, before we do again, just want to say thank you to you guys. The support you guys have shown for all these game breakdowns truly does mean a lot. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. But more importantly, and again, the best part about doing this is talking ball with you guys in the comment section, learning from you guys. So let me know your picks. Let me know some of your keys to the game in the comment section. Without further ado, let's get into this. And I want to start with this Mississippi State offense going up against this LSU defense. And if you go back 12 months ago, this would be a game that probably would be a little bit more concerning for LSU as Mississippi State would be throwing the ball all around the yard. Now, Zach Arnett taking over the program. They want to run the football a little bit more. They want to have more tight ends on the field. And you saw against Arizona that took them into overtime in Starkville. I mean, Mississippi State only threw the ball 17 times. They ran the ball 40 times. So you're seeing a, a going back to more of a physicality, trying to run the football, play complementary football for Zach Arnett and this Mississippi State team. They had success running the football against Arizona. I have some question marks if they're going to have that same success running the football against LSU that at Lake take a look at that front seven. I don't know if you could find maybe three better front sevens across the country, right? Mason Smith back. You have Mekhi Wingo, who we spent so much time talking about Mason Smith, kind of forgot how good Mekhi Wingo is. Harold Perkins, Omar Spates, I'm leaving out like six, seven other guys that provide not only NFL caliber talent, but depth to that group. I'm kind of interested to hear the Mississippi State fans in their takes on this offense because as of right now, and I go went back, watched that Arizona game, I don't know if you like have a total sense of identity for Mississippi State. And I, I think you probably expected that, right? Zach Arnett taking over the program wants to play a little bit more complimentary, wants to play a little bit more of a physical brand. I don't know if you wanted to attack this LSU defense right now. And I think a lot of LSU fans would probably agree with this. You're going to attack them in the back end, in the secondary, right? They're shuffling a lot of guys trying to see what works. The tackling hasn't been great in the back end. I don't know if Mississippi state has the guys or kind of the, the, the desire to attack this team in the back end. I mean, Zach Arnett's made it very clear that this team wants to be physical. They want to run the football and kind of play a, a little bit more of a complimentary uh, brand of football. They only threw the ball 17 times. They only had one wide receiver catch more than two passes. I, I don't know if Mississippi State has the guys in that pass catcher group to kind of challenge LSU in, in the secondary that they're still trying to figure out. And again, Will Rogers, awesome quarterback. They're just not leaning on him as much. And again, I, because of what Mississippi State's done on the offensive side of the ball and the changes that they've made, I like the matchup a lot more with LSU on the defensive side of the ball because it's just a, a group that you, you saw even Florida State, one of the better rushing attacks in the country, at times struggled to run the football against LSU. If Mississippi State wants to come in and run through LSU like they tried to run through Arizona, I think it's going to be kind of a, a long day for Mississippi State, who again, Went to overtime with Arizona at home, got outgained 431 yards to 500 or to 307 yards. And the reason why Arizona lost that game is they turned the ball over five times. Jaden Delora threw three picks in the first quarter of that game. I, I liked it. Like Mississippi State, I think, is going in the right direction. I love the hire of Zach Arnett. I think it was the hire that made sense. That being said, for Mississippi State fans, I think you probably would expect a little bit more of some growing pains because this is like a, a complete 180 in terms of the identity of this football program and how they want to play the game. So some growing pains there. And again, I just have some question marks about Mississippi state, their identity on offense and how they're going to attack LSU because I, I really do struggle to see Mississippi state run the ball 
right through this LSU Tigers team. Now, LSU on the offensive side of the ball, like, looked really sharp. And you even go back to that Florida State game. Like, they were 3 of 10 on third down, 0 of 3 and fourth down. Did not play well in the red zone. That LSU offense looked a lot better than I think the scoreboard indicated. And then you go and watch them against Grambling, scored touchdowns on the first 10 drives, a ton of wide receivers stepping up. Their running game was cooking. I get it was Grambling, but they went out and did exactly what you expected them and exactly what they should be doing, which was kind of running right through Grambling, and they certainly did that. Mississippi State on the defensive side of the ball, Zach Arnett, absolute defensive mastermind. I'm, I'm really interested to see this matchup. But what, again, I encourages me about this LSU team is I think LSU has a little bit better of an identity on the offensive side of the ball. That offense runs through Jaden Daniels, who, again, Jaden Delore gave them some problems. If Jaden Delore didn't turn the ball over four different times four, through four different interceptions, like this score looks a lot different. That game looks a lot different. Jaden Daniels, very similar skill set to Jaden Delore, just a lot better than Jaden Delore, takes care of the football more. And again, you look at some keys of the game, Jaden Delore or Jaden Daniels, they just got to protect the football. And you have some wide receivers that are, again, absolute dogs, Malik Neighbors, Brian Thomas, Kyron Lacey. Thought you saw Chris Hilton probably going to get worked in a little bit as a wide receiver. This LSU offense, extremely dynamic. So many different ways it can hurt you through the air. And then you look at the run game again, that Florida State front seven, one of the best in the country. I think LSU struggled to run the ball at times, but don't forget this LSU offensive line, probably one of the better groups in the country. I thought you saw Zalens Hurd kind of get, get going and then you kick what Emory Jones in the guard. That looks to be a very dangerous offensive line, especially if you want to run the football like LSU does. Logan Diggs kind of emerging as one of those running backs. Caleb Jackson, the true freshman, this team, has so many different ways that it can hurt you. I think it is the definition of two-dimensional. I think they can run the ball at, the high, at a high level, but I also think they can pass protect and throw the ball at a high level, one of the better wide receiving groups in the country. Mississippi State, again, great defense. I just don't know if they have the guys to match up with all the different playmakers that LSU has uh, on the offensive side of the ball. And then to kind of get into the pick, LSU coming in as road favorites, 10 points and nine and a half points. Again, this is not me hating on Mississippi State because I do think Mississippi State is is just going through a, a it's a, it, the definition of a change of management and, and the identity. They're still trying to figure out what their identity is. LSU knows what their identity is. They know their playmakers. I think they're just a much more talented team. And when you combine, you see a lot of upsets with teams that have more talent get beat by teams that, hey, we know what we do. We know who our guys are, and we're going to play that brand of football. I don't see Mississippi State knowing what they do yet. I think they're still trying to figure that out. And so for that reason, I really do like LSU in this spot. And you look at LSU and you look at the SEC, it's a wide open conference, right? We saw Alabama lose at home to Texas. And again, Alabama is still a very good team. There's an argument to be made. LSU is still the one of, if not the best team in the SEC. I think all their goals are still in front of them. And I think you might see a little bit of a scorched earth type of brand of football for LSU. Like they lost to Florida state. They played sloppy. I think you play that game 10 times for LSU probably went in a decent amount of those against Florida state. They didn't play their best ball. I think they're going to come out and try to kind of prove a point and say like, yeah, we are still one of the best teams in the country. If you ask me for my power rankings, LSU not dropping outside of the top eight. I think that's how good they are. So for me, LSU getting nine and a half points, like I really do like this LSU team. And again, it's it's no it's no knock on Mississippi State as opposed to this. I love this LSU team. I think they know what, who they are. I think they know what they want to do. And I think if they continue to figure out that secondary, like this is one of the most dangerous teams in college football. And, and again, matchup-wise, I don't know if Mississippi State has the guys, especially in that wide receiver room, to test LSU in their secondary like a team like Florida State could. So for me, I think LSU rolls in this one. Mississippi State, I'm kind of interested to see and just monitor how they are and, and what kind of brand of football they want to play. But for right now, give me LSU to cover the nine and a half points. This team is still very, very good. That I think you're seeing some people sleep on because they just look at the score of that Florida State game and say, oh, yeah, LSU ain't what we thought they were. No, LSU still one of the best teams in the country. Don't get that twisted. LSU covering the nine and a half. That's my take. Again, appreciate you guys checking the boys out. If you do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later.